once you have set up the task now let's see how do you work with the GAN chart uh, so like I have stated earlier you bring the GAN chart uh, by clicking this GAN chart options and you can turn on the weekly view monthly view daily view uh, the way you wanted to see the chart uh, now uh, you will see there is two bars there is always a black line underneath and there is a bar above so that means this black line is the original plan duration line so when you double click any of this task you will see the baseline uh, so initially the plan was on 21st of January and baseline is also on 21st of January so when you actually move this bar uh, the baseline doesn't move so baseline always stays there so that that tells you that that was the original plan line uh, before we keep uh, we we move these bars so let's try to connect the bars so how do we actually establish relationship between the bars so uh, this is also shown up in the relationship tab underneath you will see the relationship now when you click a procurement you will see uh, the predecessor and successor there is no relationship so uh, now let's try to build some relationship so if, for example once the sign off of project is completed you will be doing the procurement options so you will connect as a finish to start relationship so that means once the sign off is done the procurement will take place likewise once the procurement is done the designing take place so again this is finished to start relationship to establish the relationship you will then see the procurement is now uh, related to uh, sign off of the project as finished to start and also the successor is designed so that means after procurement the design is going to take place once we establish all the relationship between the task uh, you can see the relationship uh, underneath as well what's the relationship between the task uh, now um, see what happens uh, say for example the design activity got delayed now because design the engineering and construction is related to design uh, these bars should also move along with design so now if we try to move design uh, to a later date you can see the engineering and construction has also moved out of the origin, original plan date so this relationship helps us to identify what will be the project finish date based on uh, the current state of the project you can also bring up the today's line so that will show you uh, as of today what is the current state of the project and uh, you can also bring the critical path line so if there is a critical path on the project that will bring up the critical path now considering this is only one uh, level of activities the entire project is in critical path now here you will see a lot of options that you would like to bring uh, say for example earliest finish uh, you can see you can bring these fields uh, on on the same table